today's transmission is the choice is always yours. You see, you can let the circumstance define you, confine you, refine you, outshine you, or you can leave it all behind you and stay dedicated to being the best version of you. You see, your history does not determine your destiny. Your destiny is determined by whether you take those things, what you do with the circumstances, what you do with the lemons, what you do with uh, a thing called, my dad left me when I was younger, and how you use that. So there are many ways to do this, but let's just say, for example, right? The person who lets their circumstance define them is the person who always has the story, the sad story, about how, you know, if they would have done this, if they didn't break their leg, you know, the game before the championship, they would be pro by now. If my dad wouldn't have left me when I was younger, then I'd be a better human being. They always have a story about that. Or, it's in the positive, but they never let it go. They're telling the same story over and over. You know, and back in my day, you know, I used to walk 17 miles, and uh, because of that, I, uh, you know, it's one of those things. And then there's the people who let the circumstances confine them. These are the people that are in the self-made prisons, not knowing that the key and the door was always unlocked. You see, these are the people that are, are constantly in victim mode. They always have um, the story of the government is keeping them down, or if, if their boss would just let them, or, you know, my, if my wife would give me more time, then I could do this. If, if my kids weren't always around, then I could do this. If I didn't have so much homework, then I could do this. They are confined by the circumstances. And then there's the people who let the circumstances refine them. Now, I'm not a big sports fan, but Magic Johnson of the LA Lakers is a prime example of this because this man in like 1992 was diagnosed with HIV, with AIDS, right? And what he did was he took those circumstances and instead of having it define him, instead of having it confine him, he had it refine him. He filtered himself. He took those circumstances and had it move him forward. That's what you want to do in your life. A lot of people let the circumstances outshine them as well. Now I'm not even going to talk about that because you get that. But there's the last one. And I, I implore and I urge everybody to do this last one for sure. And that is to have it, to see, notice, be with the circumstances and leave it behind you. Because nothing in the universe is static. Everything on this planet is always moving. Kind of like this water, kind of like this waterfall, kind of like the fish. The circle of life is always happening. So don't get caught up in the past. Remember, your history does not determine your destiny. Your destiny is determined by whether you choose to have it refine you or you leave it behind you. So don't have the circumstances of the past, you keep bringing them into the present, then you can't enjoy this beautiful thing called life. Right now, I'm on a trip of a lifetime and I'll have 10,000 more of them before I leave this planet. Why? Because I choose to not let my dyslexia define me. Because I choose not to let, oh, I didn't grow up with a, a rich family define me. You see, I choose to have all those things refine me and leave, let them go and leave them behind me. Yes, I still have to work on that. Yes, I can't read as fast as everyone else, but guess what I can do? I can talk, I can use my voice, and I have that refine me and move me forward. That is your job, and it is your job right here, right now. Don't wait. The time is now. Love is real. I love you guys so, so much. If you are new to the family, make sure you click that red subscribe button. The rest of you, my, my Love's Voice tribe, go ahead and share this message. Leave a comment. You know I comment back. It may take me a minute, but I always do. And, and get it in, get it out, guys. Life is now. It is happening right now. Live the dream. Uh, let's go. That's our job, is to turn our dials, our knobs, to that thing called love and operate from that space. But when you're, when you're dealing in drama, when you're inviting it, creating it, or associating with it, then you have turned your, your knob to drama and that's what you get.